Hi there, I'm John McCann, this is James Peckham. We're here today to talk to you about the Sony Xperia Z3 Plus. Yeah, also known as the Xperia Z4 if you live in Japan. Correct. But for our markets, it's yeah. uh, Xperia Z3 Plus. Yeah, and the Plus makes it sound like a fan blur. It's not, yeah. it is literally a replacement for the Z3 which launched six months ago mm. in September at IFA. Sony is at it again. Yeah. Six monthly reboots, it loves it. People aren't so infused by <laughs> yeah. it and it is another classic incremental upgrade. Yeah, it's Z3 Plus in the sense of there's only a few little extra features added in here. So it's uh, the design's pretty much the same. It's a little bit thinner, which is nice. 6.9 millimeters, if you're interested. There you go, yep. Uh, down from 7.3 or something yep. on, the Xperia Z, on the Xperia Z3. Um, what else have we seen? It's got a Snapdragon 810 yep. processor up from the Snapdragon 801 in the Z3. So a bit more power, octa-core, 64-bit. So in theory, lots of power behind the scenes, backed up by three gig of RAM. So, you know, hopefully increased performance. So Android Lollipop, which is running on it, should mm. be smoother, a bit slicker, apps should open faster, games should run better. But we have heard potential issues around this 810 chip. The HTC One M9 uses it, the yep. LG G Flex 2 uses it. So you know, people haven't completely turned off. Yes, Samsung haven't used it, but you know, it, yeah. it is still working fine. So I, I don't foresee too many issues. Battery life has also taken a bit of a hit. Yes, 2,900 milliamps now. Down, so from, down about... from 3,100. So a little bit smaller. That's probably to make it that little bit thinner. We yeah. don't know if, if it's optimized better. So it might even, the battery life might be the same, but it yeah. sounds like the it's The screen is the same, still 5.2 inch, yeah. full HD, tri-luminous display. So there's no extra drain from the screen. There's no QHD, mm. which we were hearing in the rumors there might be. Yeah. Um, and the processor, the Snapdragon 810 should technically be more power, power yeah. efficient. So we're Fingers probably crossed. still looking at a day day and a half at an absolute yeah. push. But when they didn't announce anything six months after the Xperia Z3, I got quite excited thinking they're gonna wait the full year, yeah. they're gonna go, bam, here is a brand new, here's the brand new phone, and it's gonna be completely different, and there's gonna be so much, so many new features. This is just, it's just incremental updates again, and it's it not, is. it's not gonna inspire anyone who's got an Xperia Z3 to go out no. there and buy. Maybe if you've got an Xperia Z1 or a Z2, you might think, I'll go for the plus, but no one who's already gone out and bought the Z3 is gonna be, like raving about the Z3 Plus. For sure, I mean, it, it, it's the same thing that Sony's been doing for a couple of years now mm. with the Z1, the Z2, the Z3. They've all been incremental upgrades of their predecessor, but a relatively good upgrade on the one maybe 12 months previous. Mm. So you've got to look at it like that. Um, and yeah, no one's going to upgrade straight away, but it will be out June 2015. Yeah. It will be available globally. As we said, this is the phone that's known as the Sony Xperia Z4 in Japan. Yeah. They are technically the same phone, um, they're just named differently basically because Japan has a lot of fanatical following in Japan and can get away with calling it a whole new phone. Yeah. The rest of the world has cottoned onto these sort of incremental upgrades, so to sort of pander to our disposition, yeah. they've gone actually, yeah, this is a this, this is a plus, this isn't yeah. a whole new model. So Sony Xperia Z5 at ETH in September, quite possibly. Yeah, fingers um, crossed. Yeah, we're hoping. Let us know what you think. Uh, thank you for watching.